Morning to everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Sis to Talk podcast by Carpedium. I am pleased to be the host this time. I am Nasua and I am with a very close friends of mine and members of Carpedium. Say hi to Tunku Farah. Hello. And Ale Bushra. Hi everyone. Thank you to our listeners for tuning in. I'll start with a fun fact of Malaysia statistics. First of all, the population of Malaysia is 32 million. All right, 32 million. As for 2019, the numbers of immigrants in Malaysia amounted to approximately 3.43 million. Wow. What an amount, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In Malaysia, there are four categories of immigrants. So this like indirectly explain why the population of immigrants in Malaysia until 3.43 million. There are four categories of immigrants. The first is family class. They are closely related person of Malaysians resident living in Malaysia. The second one is economic immigrants. They are and the skilled workers and business people and others are considered as people who are accepted as immigrants for humanitarian or compassionate reasons and the last one is refugees people who are escaping persecution torture or cruel and unusual punishment that is happening in their country so the question is why do you think most malaysians out there hate the immigrants Tunku Farah, please, the floor is yours. Well, if you ask me, Nasuha, most mm-hmm. of our people hate the immigrants because nowadays, if you go to KL or any parts of Malaysia during the weekends, you won't see Malaysians roaming around, but you will see the immigrants. And that mm-hmm. makes our people feel intimidated as they think that the majority of Malaysians' populations are the immigrants and not them. Plus, most Malaysians hated the immigrants because they think that they, uh, the immigrants took away the job and business opportunities. For example, Kedai Aceh is one of them. Yes, <laughs> Malaysians do go to bigger supermarkets to buy groceries like Giant. But if they wanted to buy something that they've forgotten, Malaysians would prefer to go to Kedai Aceh since it's nearby and it's cheap. This means that Malaysians hated them because of the reason that I mentioned just now. I see. So you are saying that Malaysians feel kind of invaded in their own country? Yeah. The unbalanced population of immigrants is making the Malaysian citizens feel uncomfortable? Is that it? Yes. I see. All right. The second question is from your perspective. Do you think it's their fault that they took away the job and business opportunities? What do you think, Alia Bushra? Mm, I think that personally, um, it is not their fault because uh, most immigrants work as cleaners, um, they work as helpers, and they also work at construction place. And mm-hmm. it is the kind of place that is uncomfortable, and and they will they are paid with low wages. And as all of us know, uh, most Malaysians out there uh, they prefer to work in conducive place, uh, specifically mention um, air conditioned environment. So um, it is um, meaning like they like to work in factories and office settings. And furthermore, most employers employ these people because of cheap labor, meaning um, you pay them less than you should. And um, being Malaysians, um, they won't settle for less. They are like um, high demand. Yeah. I see. So you agree that the immigrants are not stealing the jobs from Malaysian citizens, right? Yes, yes, yes. Because even in our own background experience, we believe that even we as a students, we already have 
the we have already set the standards of the job that we wanted, right? So like, why should we bring the immigrants? We would not, we would not be willing to do the jobs that they are doing, right? Yeah. Yes. That's All correct. Right. So the next question is, what can be done to help Malaysians to not hate on the immigrants? Tunku Farah, please share your thoughts about this. From my perspective, Nasuha, what Malaysians could do is to have empathy for these people. I have a story whereby my male helper, he was a construction worker, he helped my neighbor with their renovation. But when it has been completed, the neighbor refuses to pay because it doesn't meet to their wants. Like, come on, the cost of renovating the house was nearly 50000 or more because this was years ago. But they didn't pay a cent at all. This means that they don't think about the hard work that those immigrants have to go through, have to put through in completing the house. The sad part was since my male helper brought along his friends to work with him, he wasn't able to uh, to pay his friends. And that created another problem for my male helper. Therefore, uh, the least you could do is to have empathy towards the immigrants because most of the good immigrants have been bullied throughout their life in Malaysia. Like the case of my male helper, that wasn't his first time. I see. So we could say that um, the immigrants, like based on your story, is that they haven't got any payment? Is that right? Yes, they didn't get the payment. They have completed the job, they have fulfilled their tasks, they have finished all the tasks given, but at the end, they did not receive any payment. So like, everyone, to everyone who is listening, are you willing to do that? Would you be willing to do a job that you were promised to be getting a payment, but at the end, you did not get anything? It feels like they, they are treating you less of a human. You have given all your might, you have given everything, but at the end, it was not worth it. We are all humans, we are all the same. So why should we do this to the immigrants? If we were to be in their place, in their shoes, would you, would you feel, what would you feel? You answer the question yourself. Now, I would like to ask Alia Bushra, do you have any incidents or any experience in dealing with immigrants or, you know, any anything that could be your readings or that you could mm-hmm. share with us? Um, I think that personally, I used to uh, experience where um, back when I was a child, I was um, told by people around me that the immigrants especially from the Bangladesh, which is the dark-skinned people, uh, I have to be extra careful, careful around them because um, the people said that um, they could do uh, crime things to me, such as rape, such as uh, robbery. So back then, I used to have this per- perspective on them, which is very bad. Mm-hmm. But now... Um, since that we are um, progressive, we are moving into a more open-minded um, environment. So we we know more about how um, immigrants actually act. So that I think that this issue, this hate disease, actually started from brainwashing, right? So mm, yeah. the bad perspective actually uh, passed around um, to the people, uh, especially um, our parents. They would tell uh, the kids, their children, that oh, don't don't go to, uh, please be extra careful to that um, uh, okay. Bangladesh people. Yes, yeah. yes. So that um, I personally think that we should move um move forward towards a more um, open-minded thinking because this is very sad to see that we are all pointing our 
our hands towards them even though they mm-hmm. didn't do anything right because i mean the warning is understandable like um they might be um the people back then might have experienced something bad from the immigrants mm-hmm. but but then um the stereotyping yes yes but then why only on, emphasize on that particular group because in the end anyone could be a threat uh, to our safety right mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. i think it is really important to educate the malaysians especially boomers because they are the one that are very eager in spreading the news the things about the bad things about uh, immigrants mm-hmm. so um yeah, yeah. we should throw away yeah this uh, bad perspective mindset Right. Yes, you know we are already in 2020. This year is the year of evolution. We should be more open-minded. It's not that being open-minded is like you are risking your safety. No, you still practice the precautions, and you know you need you need to let out the mindset of okay, this person is bad. Okay, immigrants is bad because like Arya said, everyone could be a threat. Like every single one of us, they all of us have you know this idea, like too many negative thoughts on one particular group. Do you think that it's not fair? Because even in our own race, we also have criminals. Like it's irrelevant nowadays to be absorbed in this kind of stereotyping, right? Yes. All right, you are right. Yes. To conclude, Malaysia has progressively be. Now I would like to touch on this one Twitter post that we have found on Twitter from the username at Roshini underscore M. She is she use the hashtag of migrant juga manusia, which means immigrants are also human, to help and boost the fundraising of a Rohingya family. To get to MCO in Malaysia and to make sure that their CCO son are able to continue schooling because of they are currently having the financial crisis. And based on this post, it is mentioned that they are on the goal of collecting RM nine thousand ringgit, but within one week of this post was published. They have already get RM six thousand ringgit. So what can we say about that? This is one of the important elements that reflect about Malaysians. Like we often see or we often heard about how immigrants are being mistreated in Malaysia. But this post it emphasizes on how Malaysians are very helpful towards everyone. They did not know who. Who is who are these immigrants, and they did not know the, you know, they did not know the family members personally. But how can you explain RM six thousand ringgit within a week? You know that is very big goals. You know, and in terms of financial in Malaysia, when we are helping an immigrant, it could be from anyone. It could be from students. It could be from families, teachers, or anyone, basically all Malaysian citizens, to support their, uh, to support this Rohingya financial crisis. So it's amazing. It is truly and un- it's undeniably true that there are still nice people in Malaysia, open-minded. And has acknowledged the immigrants' effort and contribution towards the development of our country. You know all the tall buildings and all the apartments. You know who did that? Immigrants did that. They did all the hard work in building all the tall buildings, right? So let's let's respect them for that. Let's always be positive towards everyone and stop the. Bad stereotyping, bad mindset that has been passed for so many generations. We are the new generations. We are the evolution generations that 
that is all from us. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel and also follow our social media SOC underscore Carpedium C-A-R-P-E-D-I-E-M That is all from us. Thank you everyone. Let's see you. Bye. 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 Bye.